Let's begin from Campus Square. Explanza Primary School Ikorodzu continues the festival of goals by humiliating Abino Mololu 9-0. What will he do? He shoots another one. Still there at its goal number seven. The second game between Mao Primary School and Mass Mass was made for TV. It was a thrilling match. The impact of goalkeeper Chima Ibebuke was felt. It was called three. Goalkeeper saves it. Even the defenders had their moments. It runs off the goalkeeper at, and the ball is not in. I told you, it was made for TV. Number nine gets a chance. It's in. In the end, the Mao boys showed character to secure a 2 1 victory. Next up is Army Children's School playing against St. Paul's Anglican from Lagos Island. Samuel Oladele scored a brace, but it was goalkeeper Favor Ibe who stole the show when he abandoned his primary duties to score from a set piece. The boys from Abulegba won 3-0. That's how these kids from Troika School welcomed spectators to Unicorn Stadium. They're here to cheer their team as they trade tackles with Green Haven in Sherry. The support paid off as striker scored in the opening two minutes of the game. Moments later, Greenhaven leveled up and that's when their cheerleaders showed up. It was indeed a tight game. Penalties had to decide the winner and it was striker. Methodist Primary School showed class and didn't need penalties to see off Rolex Children's School 3 0. And it's going number two for Methodist. Definitely, this is signed, sealed, and delivered. Last year's finalist, Lincrest Primary School from Ikurudu, also booked a place in the last 16 after beating Muslim Association 4 2 via penalties. And it takes it and with just five goals goal scored in regulation time for Monikon Stadium, it means the competition is getting tougher. Which teams will go beyond the round of 16? The three will provide answers. Austin, Okonakpan, Channel Television News.